we're going to celebrate in a happy way. Because I see here, sunrise, September 9, 1924, and sunset, January 14, 2022. If you do the math, you realize that Auntie Rita has lived a full life. She almost made it to the century. And so this, this afternoon, we come to celebrate. Family members, at this time, I pray that you will find comfort in Jesus Christ, who alone can give real comfort. Cry if you must, but there is hope in Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to be standing at this time and we're going to be doing our opening hymn. There is a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we shall see the far, for the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there shall we stand. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we shall see it afar, for the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. Eternal Father, O God of heaven and earth, we come before you this afternoon, Lord, to lift up your name, to magnify you, and to adore you. 
is to come, Lord God Almighty, in this Thanksgiving service. That this wonderful soul, O oh God Almighty, I ask that Lord Jesus Christ, that you retouch, O oh God Almighty, all those who are gathered, Almighty God, in this Thanksgiving service. You comfort their hearts, Almighty God. Lord Jesus Christ, she have lived the life, O oh God, and I know that, Lord, we are here to celebrate it, Lord, for, Lord, I know that a lot of us here, Lord God, will never live to see that number. And I pray, eternal God, as we are here, let us rejoice and be glad in you. Let us lift up a standard, almighty God, that have never lifted up before. I pray, it, eternal God, the Lord Jesus Christ, that whatsoever be said and done here today, God, let it be done to your glory and to your honor. Let everything, almighty God, done in decency. Oh God, as we look to thee today, cover this place, Lord, and bless each and every one as we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. The first lesson, Psalm 90, verses 1 to 10, will be done by Jordan Evans, Grand Niece. Good afternoon, everyone. Bel has been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destructions and sayest, Return ye children of men. For a thousand years is in thy sight, or but as yesterday, it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as the, uh, with a flood. They are as a sheep in the morning. They are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath, are we troubled? Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sin, sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three scores, three score years and ten. And if by reasons of strength, they be fourscore years, yet in their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and will fly away. These are the words of the Lord. Thank you, Jodian. This time we're going to be having a selection by Davin and Company. Afternoon. Like a ship sailing on on a sea so rough and long, so far from home and so Sure. I set out in search of the reason to go on, and there I found him in the eyes of the storm. of my the light of my Savior will lead me safely through the night and though my 
ship may be rocking and my sail may be torn. Oh, I shall rest in the eyes of the storm when the wind. The ship of mine, the light of my Savior, will lead me safely over the night. And though my ship may be rocking, oh, and my soul, it may be torn. At this time, we're going to be singing another hymn, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine.
Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when the corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Here in a portion of God's holy word. Thank you very much. <clears throat> this time, Shannon Ibang's grandniece will come with a remembrance. Good afternoon, everyone. My memory of Berita Swaby, Ansha, goes back way back to when I was a child. Summer excitement would be in the air as we all anticipated her visit and the gifts she would bring. The new shoes, the hair clips, the sweets, and as she would say, the pretty frock. Even though she was the most generous and loving person I know, her mouth wasn't a bakery, so she never sugarcoated anything she had to say. She had a raw sense of humor and words she would habitually use. Tracy, her granddaughter, and Denard, her grandnephew, were frequent recipient of those words, as they always had the habit of teasingly asking her for money to buy a drink. Ansha would reply, where do you get money from? And you should have given me some. You see me I walk? Ansha had a healthy appetite, but would never say she was hungry. Her way of saying I am hungry would always be, lad, me more taste bad. At precisely 3 p.m., Ansha would look in the kitchen. The next words would be, on an apple on the pot. Jokingly, Shani would say, are you a cook tonight? To which she would reply, Me, me, Benita Swaby, one would have never known. 
The game of what she wanted to eat would then begin. Ancha, what do you want for dinner? What do you have? Pork, chicken, fish, and the list goes on. Until saltfish was mentioned. Me would I eat the saltfish, as this was one of her all-time favorite. If given soup, the first thing she did was to stir, looking for her grains. A soup without grain is long water, and she no want no long water. And she never ate without offering. Take some more, she would continuously say, until you had a bite. I remember one morning, Shani made the mistake of giving Ansha her coffee with toast bread. She took one look and said, what me feed with the bread? Dry bread suck out blood, you know? She loved her coconut water and would often ask, what killed the coconut tree over and over again? At one point, my nephew Ahmad got tired of telling her the same thing. So he replied, all right, kill the coconut tree. Ansha got mad. Tell all right, say, when you come for work, report to me. <laughs> if you had something to do at six o'clock, no need to keep checking the time because at 6 p.m. sharp, oi day, the lamp light in my room. My niece Shudi got tired of telling Anja that the lamp light. So she got a big piece of cardboard and made a sign that read, the lamp light in your room. Each time Anja asked the question, she would point to the sign. Anja would read, nod her head and smile. Anja loved to share. But words of warning, never visit without taking something for her. And she would always ask, you can't call up this man with your two long hand? Ansha was very protective of her room. If you dare to enter without permission, it would be, where are you going to my room for? You have anything in there? But I have, however, uncovered the secret because in her room, there is a black handbag with a magic $5 bill. This $5 is used to pay Dr. Bender, buy kerosene oil, buy medication, pay teeth in GPS, who in her own words, teeth like a two-foot puss. Cause she no use so much electricity. And one of them there, she not pay none. And if them bad, tell them to come lock her up. This $5 bill would, however, magically reappear in her handbag. I am keeping my fingers crossed that when the will is read, that magical $5 is left to me. She and Wine had a loving relationship. Every night before going to bed, she would ask for her glass of wine, her favorite stone ginger wine. When given to her, we would tell her, Ansha, you need to sip. However, she would take three gulps, glass empty. Ansha could not understand today's fashion, the crop top and the ripped jeans. She would ask, you're not afraid to catch cold. For your clothes, tear up so like you and dog in a fight. Ansha, that's the style to which she would reply. You are idiot. You really take money by that? Poppy sure. All poppy sure. Ansha came home to be with us in July 2016, something she has always wanted to do. Can I tell you? Life was never the same. No more days of boredom, as she was one of the greatest entertainers ever lived. Ansha loved to sing. She sung some songs I never knew existed. At what point, I thought she was the writer and producer. I was getting ready to release an album until I researched them on YouTube. Her favorites being Chinese Man from Montego Bay, Drink White Roman Tumble Down and Dumpling Teeth. Ansha, our family chain has broken and nothing seems the same. But we, your family, loved you in a very special way. They say that memories are golden. Well, that may be true, but we never wanted memories. We only wanted you. If heartaches could make a line, then we'd walk the path to heaven and bring you home again.
But as God calls us, one by one, the chain will link again. Oh, I wish I could hear your lovely voice calling. Come tie me head to me, but God knows best. Answer me your soul, rest in peace, and light perpetual shine. If I had a wings like a dove, if I had the wings of a dove, I would fly, fly away, fly away, and be at rest. If I had the wings of a dove, if I had the wings of a dove, The first one will be from Safe, and it will done by Elton Booth, Booth's nephew, and there's space for two others, inviting Elton to come at this time. Thank you, thank you. Well, well, well. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, to the family immediate family that is because everybody here is family but the immediate family to you i want to convey my deepest deepest sympathy brother Osborne, devon now there's a problem when you start calling names you know even though i've known these people all my life I don't trust my memory. So I was given a little paper here so that I don't go off track. So as Bern and Irma, Irma isn't here today, Devon and Rose Claire, Dion and Sian, you think they pair those names together somewhere, eh? Dion and Sian, David who is not here today, is he? And of course, just like those immediate sons and daughters, there is Carla and Rima and all the folks, our children, our offsprings from those children. Of course, I have to mention Ghani, who preceded Aunt Rita a couple of years, maybe two or three. May their souls rest in peace. Now my task this evening is quite simple. To bring you greetings from New York, from the SAFE organization. Now SAFE is a strange little organization that Aunt Rita was very instrumental in forming. Over 30 years ago, can't imagine that it's that long, but it is. This organization came out of the idea that we'd want Aunt Rita, and I should say Alvin Hansen, and a few other seniors wanted some way to touch base with their community. That's the community of school field. And the best way to do it was through the school. So that was how that came about. And uh, of course, Devon served as vice president for many years. 
We thank you for your service, Devon. Ghani also served. Of course, Aunt Rita was the linchpin from the folks from Mount Vernon. When they come down, whenever we have fundraisers, you know you're gonna have a good night if Mount Vernon shows. We thank you guys for that, and we are here today to bid Aunt Rita farewell. Now I have been given a, a message to read, but I'm not so sure, to be honest, I just read it while I was standing in the back. And um, I'm not so sure, but I have a duty to do, so I'll do it, and then I'll say my piece after. on behalf of Social Agenda for Education Safe. We express deep sympathy to the family. Safe is a nonprofit organization founded to assist young people pursuing education, higher education. And Rita, your love, your, your beloved mother, sister, grandmother, aunt, and friend, was a founding member of SAFE when it was formed 30 years ago, which I just said. And Rita and her family served as SAFE founding members. Her example was passed on to her son, Devon, and many of the next generation, whom she shepherded as the family matriarch. This support has helped in the expansion of scholarships, awards, for not only young people in America, but to include young people in Jamaica. Our Twitter will be remembered. We will all miss her, miss her guard, guardians, but we will continue to do the work she supported and advocated for. Take solace in the lovely memory you have of your beloved Angie Rita. Be thankful you were blessed with such a loving, caring person. May her soul rest in peace. Now, having said all of that, you know that I couldn't stand here and not say something for myself. Sure, Ned, you did a good job there. You captured a lot of Adrita's qualities, even the ones that you have to polish up a little, you know? <laughs> On a personal basis, all my life I've known Andrita, but I still have a mystery that I can't explain. Maybe Asburn or Dexter, but them old timers there now, because they are the old, old timers, can explain it to me. The young folks don't have a clue, but I always wondered Asburn. How on earth or what kind of pot Aunt Rita had back in that little kitchen there that is just the walls are standing? Because, ladies and gentlemen, many of you are so young you won't even realize or know, that pot fed the entire community. You could never come here and it's dinner time and you don't get dinner. But the mystery to me is where the hell the food come from? That was the kind of person that Rita was. Everybody must be fed. And I must say, somebody cautioned me and said, well, she took it off of Sa Salil. If I say Salil, it don't sound too right. But she took it off of Salil, was that type of person too. And as a little boy, I can remember coming out and seeing all my big cousins just having a wonderful time. And I always wish, my God, man, they, they look so happy. I wish I could be like them. But all of it, the anchor was Anchita. If you notice, they switched there, Anchita. This woman was a marvelous, marvelous person and her sojourn to North America never changed anything. In Mount Vernon, it was the same thing. 
And boy, when they and them put on a bash for your birthday, you have to come ready to drink Heineken, Red Stripe, eat curry goat, and not to mention Ghani was a specialist with the soup, the manish water. So we have gone through all of that and we have come to this point. And we have to realize that all of us will come to this point one day. The question is, what have we done to make life better for those we left behind? This lady has done it all, and we are so proud of her. I'm so proud to be standing here this evening just to say goodbye, Angelita. But before I go, I should tell you, I was here in December. I naturally always visit her. Always bring a bottle of wine so we could have a sip. But this time I was so pressed. I didn't have time. Actually, I didn't remember to pick up the wine in Santa Cruz. And so I was on my way out. I stopped by. And I say, well, you aren't reader. I really come to have a drink with you, but the truth is, you never carry the wine. But I want to make you a promise. When I come back, we're going to have two drinks. <laughs> she look at me and she kind of smile and she says, if me there. So it's really real that I'm here. She's not here in spirit. Or, or she's here in spirit, but not in body, so to speak. And I want to tell you, Aunt Rita, I had one drink last night, and I'm going to have one today. So that are you two. So as you journey on to join your ancestors, Uncle Vesta, Combrayam, Salil, and all of the others, walk good and keep watching over us and if you can communicate back here, give us some lottery numbers. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mr. Bruce. There's space for another tribute. There's space for two more tributes. Two more tributes. Dexter, I think you should say something. We want Dexter. We want Dexter. We want Dexter. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening, Dr. Destiny. Well, I can't tell you about it until we can I know one, um, one day we come and say, Until we good afternoon. How are you doing? Will you care for me? You said, I don't care for me. You say you could ask me, I don't care something to me. Not even piece of yam. You say, all right, next week you will get it. You say, okay then. But when I was a little boy, and you know, they let me become a big man now. And Trita was a nice, nice lady. In all ways, look out for us. From what time when you come and say, and Trita, what do you do? Why? I look for you. But let me tell you something, say. Me not much to say, you know. For me, it's not too good to remember everything. But me I tell you, and to it, I say, may yeah, God, by him, um, may soul rest in peace. That when we depart, we will meet again. Well done. Well done. Sir. Let's face all one more. I think we need to hear from a lady now. We've had two gentlemen. 
Good afternoon to everyone. I just want to thank God for being here. And I've heard so much about Tancha. After knowing her for the past 16 years in the States, and I I'm hearing so much that I'm saying, I don't know what, I don't know where to start because it is well said. Because Ancha is the type of person who the, our house is always open to everyone. And anytime you go there, as, as um, the gentleman would say, the pot is, uh, she said, if I said, Ancha, me hungry, you know? She would say, see food there. Eh? Yeah. I take food. Yeah. I thank God that I am here. And I'm so sad that, you know, for the she has been back in Jamaica for the past six years and I and I didn't come to see her. But today I said to myself, I said, listen, I got to be in St. Elizabeth at Ancha's funeral. She's not seen me but to pay the last respect. And I just want to sing this little song if I can remember. I went to the house where she used to live. The grass has grown up and it covered church back in Mount Vernon, Nazarene Worship Center. I went to the church where she used to go.
the rest of the family. Ancha has lived her life. Many doesn't live to see this age. But we thank God. I thank God for knowing her. And I thank God that I'm here. May her soul rest in peace. And may you all follow her footsteps. God bless you. Have a great day. And your name is? My, my name is, what they all say, always say Dawn, but I'm um, Sister Kane. Thank you. Hey, Sister Kane, thanks for coming. And at this time, we're going to be having a selection from the Paper House Church of God. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. I don't know how good it really is to go back to that time of morning. But you know, just like we find strength in the Lord. So you can lean on when you feel down. Like God. Like God. Testing. So we do this song. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing. Testing. As soon as you left, it stopped. Oh. You're pressing everything.
Jesus. Can you clap your hands? Hallelujah, hallelujah. And now we are going to be having the sermon. It should be done by Reverend E. Salmon. May your hearts be blessed as he comes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I place your servant in your hands now, in your care. I pray, mighty God, for a fresh anointing upon his life. And I pray, God, as he speaks, thus said, Almighty God, so we will be drawn to you today. Remember those who are grieving now, mighty God. I pray that you will comfort them. Lord, we put everything in your hands and in your care. We ask you to lead and we will follow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We see you fast as someone now in care of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, open up your mouth and praise God. I think everybody hold God to praise Him. Amen. He give you that mouth. Come on, so open up and praise Him. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want you to sit here a long time. So just stand for a change. Amen. Just stand for a change. Amen. 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 Amen
So she wanted to do it all by herself. So she's a woman disturbant. So the, on the night of January 14, she go to sleep and final rest. Amen. I just want to bring you a word from the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 12. Then my reward is with me to pay the man according to his work shall be. Amen. And there's another verse that I will bring you. There's two verses. It is appointed unto man wants to die, but out of that come judgment. Amen. This appointment every man has to keep, whether soon or late. Unjudge, unjudge, and misread her appointment come in time. She could not refuse to accept the appointment. So you and I have that same appointment to meet. Amen. But the life of the appointment, there is a judgment. After death, if it was only death, not really wrong, but after death, there come the judgment. And in this judgment, that's when Revelation chapter 22 tells, will be thought, I have a reward to pay every man according to your work shall be. Amen. You cannot receive a pay without your work. And if you don't work, you're going to get a reward in this one, okay? In this Amen. The employment. Everybody going to receive a reward. Everybody, whether you're high or you're low, whether you're big or you're small, whether you're rich or you're poor, you got to receive this reward. And the reward is river, dirt, or hell, heaven or hell. Where heaven and hell, my fellow Jamaicans are here. I want to let you know hell is real and heaven is real. Amen. In Matthew chapter 9, I believe Jesus said to the picture. Is the people, he said, There is two worlds before you, you pick your choice. There is hell and there is heaven. Pick your choice. There is a broad road and a narrow road. There is a broad road that leads you straight into destruction. But there is a narrow road that will lead you up into eternal life. So choose this day. Choose. And just in his word, he said, For me and my house, I will serve the Lord. Oh, praise God. So you have a, a, a purpose. Amen. For you to choose the right way. Amen. Praise God. The right way is the way to heaven. Amen. Praise God. In this season that we are living in, amen. There are so many people are passed on without a remedy. Nothing time to say goodbye, amen, to their family members, amen, some died by the COVID, amen, some died the accident on the road, amen, some died by various crime event, but God know that day, one day is coming, amen, when all of this condition will be over. Amen. I said, all of this condition, it will be over. So the appointment of God said, Amen. The appointment that you can get your pay. Amen. Is there about your pretty looks? God is going to pay you by your pretty looks. God is going to pay you if you're good looking at your ugly. God is going to pay you because, Amen, if you serve Him, you will get a heavenly pay. But if you don't serve him, 
you will get the part from me. I know you not. What a very, very strategic word to use. If you went to your parents and your father, your mother, said, I don't know you. Amen. In spite of them giving birth to you, that foot there, they come, that something happened, and you went to them and said, I don't know you. That's how the Lord, that's what you're going to say. Depart from me. I know you're not. Go prepare for the devil and his angel. My friends, today I'm advising you and not to repent and to turn to God. If you are not yet saved, you need to get saved. You need to change your life and turn to God. Oh, praise God. Watch what happened in, in, the, in the world. There is a world turned upside down right now. Amen. The world is in a chaos, a confusion over the whole world because of one disease and then after this disease worse is yet to come you gotta prepare prepare yourself it's not about what you wear it's not about where you live oh man it's about where your soul will be at the day of your funeral where would your soul be at the day of your funeral? I cannot tell you that Miss Berita, her soul is in heaven. I cannot say her soul is in hell. I am not here to judge, but she know. Hallelujah. She know if she find us with God. But it's for you and I, uh, praise God, we're still alive. Amen. It's to find a friend before we need a friend. And that friend that I can invite to, his name is Christ Jesus. And he said, Behold, behold, I come quickly. Behold, the, the, the judgment is on hand. The rapture is at hand. Oh, praise God. Some of us are looking for the world to go back to normality. But we will never see the world get back to normality because it is the beginning of sorrow. It's on the land. Worse is yet to come. I'm so sorry for some of us who are looking for better tomorrow. But there will be no better tomorrow. I praise God. The only time the better can come is when you repent and give your heart to the Lord and He can use you. I praise God. In spite of the pandemic, Amen. God can sustain you and He can keep you. I praise the name of the Lord who said, He that keepeth Israel never slumber, He never slept. I praise the name of the Lord. He loved His people. I praise God. The song said, When He was on the cross, you and I was on his mind of oh, praise God who knows that you are on the mind of Christ that's why I said Father there is a forgiveness and some of us should die and go to hell without remedy but because of God merit favor why are we still here amen I said we do so many things to displease God but because of his merit favor Mercy. Mercy is mercy. If it's not for God's mercy, some of us would be standing under this roof here. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Maybe some of us will gone. Amen. Just like our aunt Jargon. Oh, praise God. But because of his mercy, we are here. You know how many of you have gone through difficult time. You know how many of you for men try to rob and to kill.
And whenever I get the house, God mercy is for everybody. I praise the name of the Lord. He don't fear God. He don't fear God. Nobody. I praise God. Hallelujah. The only person that God favor was a man that bow his knee. Your sons and writers say, every man shall bow and everything confess. I praise the name of the Lord. God, amen. The praise God is serving with big men and big women try to outdo, amen. The praise of God and they could not do the praise God. The man never can ever reach out it and fear down the way. Oh my God, I might, amen. God will start to desire in himself that I never can ever. And the turn your make your creator, the one who gives your life to put your heart in for him. As some of you will fear to open your mind, recognize it, wait it, and it should give you should give God thanks for it. And in the class is him to go down in your bed or in your stomach. Praise God. God food can choke you and kill you. Some of us don't recognize it. Some of us get up and we get the food and before we start, before we say, come out. And we don't bless the food. And the same food can be good and be bad. We need to give God thanks for everything. I said, we need to give God thanks for everything. Because he is around. And when you come out of your home, and you are to check yourself here, you are poorly free. You need to be poor. I would not really recognize it. Huh? But God, Mercy, sunset and his mercy His mercy. You know how many of you call the Santa Cruz and the rock and then the gunman is about to strike you, but because of the holy angels surrounding your life. Amen. Praise God when the gunman pass and said, touch that one. Amen. There's something shining on you. The light it could not touch you. Man, friend. See God. Seek him down. Call on him. Amen. He said, the Lord and Samuel is all open up. I will come and sit with him and him with him. God is knocking up somebody. He was okay. Family, but 
never return. Never return. From some that would like to happen to man anytime. We don't know. You don't know what can happen to you after leaving after under the sin. No, we don't know. But God, but God, He's the author and the future of a human faith. Just trust Him. Just turn away from your sin. Turn to God with your whole heart. Amen. He's not him. He's calling. He's waiting. His hand is all stretched. No way. He is standing in the gap for you. Don't wait until it's too late. Family members. Don't want fit for answer. She need to prepare herself to meet her somewhere in the day to come. My answer, friend, turn to God. Judgment is here. The rapture is near. Choose your reward. Choose. Choose this day who As the servant of God to choose God. Choose him. To my promise to no man. By the word today, you don't must say it tomorrow. Choose him today. Turn your life over to him. As we're coming down in the field of service. God love. Is so great. Can you hear him? Imagine that. So, for God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. God bless you. God bless you. Blessed to pass the salon. And now, granddaughter Marsha Papan will do the eulogy. Greetings, all. Whew. Very emotional day. So bear with me. Marita Swaby, otherwise called Ancha, age 94 of Schoolfield, St. Elizabeth, passed away unexpectedly at home on Friday, January 14th. He was born on September 9th, 1924, the fifth child of the late Francis and Brian Dennis. Marita got her nickname, Ancha, as her granddaughter, Rima, as the toddler wasn't able to say Aunt Rita as she was affectionately called back then. Ancha was to become an endearing name. I've only ever, I'm 46, and I've only known her as Ancha. <laughs> Ancha attended Schoolfield Elementary School. After leaving school, he met and married Sylvester Swabier, as she would always say, her one true love. Sylvester went on the farm work program while she became a shopkeeper and a nurturing mother. Ancha was preceded in death by her husband, Sylvester, Dr. Gunny, grandson Richard, great grandson Dimitri, Demoy, and Tyrese. She is survived by her children, Osborne, wife Irma. David, 
and husband Sian, as well as 11 grandchildren, Carla, Rima, Gavin, Jumpy, um, myself, Samantha, Cyril, Ashley, Ariana, Martin, Leone, and Opal, as well as 23, you hear me? 23 great-grandchildren and 13 great-great-grandchildren and many nieces, nephews, and cousins. Ancha migrated to the United States in 1977 with her two youngest children to be with her husband in the state of Florida. In 1981, after her husband passing, she and her children moved to New York to be closer to family. In New York, Ancha became the marchioca of her family. She worked as a child caregiver, taking care of kids who are friends of the family while they went to work. The kids that she took care of grew up with love and admiration for her. She was not only their caregiver, but she was their disciplinarian, confidant, counselor, and above all, lifetime friends. Ancha, well, you guys have heard it here today. Everyone that has come up here, the stories that you are hearing. Ancha was a beautiful person inside and out. To know her was to love her. She lived a good life, surrounded by her family, who all had so much love and respect for her. Auntie would, and you've heard it here today, many, many times. How many people come up here and say, Auntie would give the clothes off her back if anyone needed it. She was always packing viral, which I remember that growing up, getting ready to go to Jamaica, packing the virals. And by tokens for family and friends here in Jamaica. Auntie was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease years this more memory, but if you know Ancha, it, that disease not, did not get her spirit. It did not, vibrant. She was always full of life, the life of the party. It was always her dream to come home as she would often say, carry me home to Jamaica, clear with take care of me. Her wish, her wish came through July 2016, when her son, Devin, and daughter, Devin, retired and decided to move to Jamaica, taking her home. She lived for years, often putting family, their nieces, grandnieces, nephews, grand nephews who all remembered her generosity. Today we're we're gonna grieve today. You know we're heartbroken. But you know what? We're gonna whether it's or DNT or a music or a song. And you know what you're gonna do? We're gonna smile. We're gonna have that memory. What, what good Ansha. Heaven has gained a beautiful angel. Thank you all.
em bé Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you're worthy to be praised. You're the mighty God. You're the everlasting Father. You're the Prince of Peace. Lord, you're our sustainer. You are our provider. You are the when we are down. Lord God, you know, we give you thanks, we give you praise. And I give you honor because you are the only God. You are never too busy to hear us when we call. And your hand is not short. Your ears is not heavy. You are the almighty God. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the sun, you are God. And you always will be God. You are the reigning king. Lord, you give and Lord, you take. And so this afternoon, Lord, this family, oh God, Antra family, Lord, I'm acquainted with a few of them, Lord God, and I find them to be very warm, nice people. Lord God, I pray this evening as they mourn, I pray that you will strengthen them. Lord God, I pray that you will, you will comfort them, Lord. Oh God Almighty, minister into their spirit. Oh God, they might be wondering why. But Lord God, you already know the reason why. And so God, I place all the family into your hands. Though that I not yet seen, though that I not yet surrender your life to you. Mighty God, you're not willing that none should perish, but they all should come to repentance. And so God, I pray that you will minister into their spirit and help them all God to accept you as Lord and Master. Oh God Almighty, so you come to sleep and to save that which was lost. And so we wish to go God and cover the crew. God, I pray that you will come in and in your blood. Oh God, in your going out and in your coming in. God, I pray for your protection. Almighty God, oh, that will be going back overseas. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty, that you will take the right self. Oh God, I'm not going to drive it. 
Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. You may have to open this Thursday. Amen. The test will be open here for viewing. You will be open at the graveside, okay? Because of the heat of the sun. So we ask you to do a few down here. We move up here and just go to the grave, okay? Thank you. When we do that, we're going to go for him and fly away home to glory. Good morning.
Over here, so I feel Christ. Thank 
Who has something to say now? Grandma is gone. Who has something to say before Grandma go away? Is it on your chance here? Okay, yeah. Father, we thank you for things. Thank you for life. Lord, we thank you for the life for our dear sister, our dear grandmother, dear aunt, dear mother, dear great grandmother. And Lord, as she has lived her life, mighty God, we pray that you will find peace. And Lord, as we shall leave from this place, we pray, God, that you'll grant us journey mercy. We pray you'll fly every trap of the enemy now, mighty God. And you'll take us at these another mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now Thank may the you. saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the full fellowship of the Holy Spirit, 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 Send on your rest if you're on the side. Send on your rest. Oh, Jesus. Send on your rest. Send on your rest. Come on. And more rest in peace. You're not gonna tell me no more. You know. May the Lord rest and keep you like the way you should. You're a gracious lady. The Lord loves you and the Lord is with you all the time. You're not gonna leave you alone. You're resting in peace.
Nothing. Jesus. Hi. I mute. I'm on mute. Eh? 